Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about that new LV Cognac collection that everyone's drooling over and how that might not be the original LV Cognac after all. As you can see here, I've got some Cognac looking LV bags right behind me and I'm going to show you some alternatives to the current LV Cognac bags. So stick around, now let's get into it. Okay, so currently this new LV Cognac collection contains five different styles. So there's the Speedy, the Neverfull, the On The Go, the Pochette Felici, and the Zippy Wallet. Now, they're probably gonna expand this collection because this color is really popular. So there's gonna be more styles is my prediction. Now let me introduce you to what I consider to be the original cognac colors and I've got two of them to show you today. So firstly introducing the Louis Vuitton Kenyan Fawn in Epi Leather. So this was first released in 1985, it's since been discontinued. And next is the Louis Vuitton Capango Gold Color, first released in 1990 and has also been discontinued. Now, if we look at them side by side, you can see they are slightly different, but they both have that quintessential caramel brown color. So the Kenyan Fawn has a little bit more reddish undertones and the Capango Gold has a little bit more yellowish undertones. Now, if we compare them to the Cognac color, so we can see both the Kenyan Fawn and the Cognac both have reddish undertones compared to the Capango Gold, which has the yellow undertone. Now, all three of them are paired with gold hardware. The Cognac and the Kenyan Fawn are usually paired with a brown colored stitching, whereas the Capango Gold has the yellow thread stitching. And the Cognac and Kenyan Fawn have a dark brownish black glazing, whereas the Capango Gold has like a lighter brown glazing. Now these Epi bags have been discontinued. However, you can still find all these styles available on the pre-loved market and most of them are still going for under $1,000. Now I have lots of eye candy in store for you today. And anyone who's already owned a vintage LV will know these have been impeccably made. Going from 1980s to 1990s and still going strong in 2022, what more can you say about the quality of these bags? Okay, so starting off with the Speedy. So the Cognac Speedy is currently going for $2,710 in the 25 size. Now, did you know you could also get the vintage Epi Speedy in the Kenyan Fawn? So this is already a direct vintage alternative to it. Now it doesn't come in the bandolier style. However, you can just add your own strap to it. Now after the Speedy, you can also get the Epi Keep All. So for those who love designer travel bags or who want a really big duffel bag, you can get the Epi Keep All in the Kenyan Fawn or Capango Gold. Now another alternative is the Pont Neuf. This is more like a square version of the bag rather than a rectangular version like the Speedy. Again, it doesn't come with a bandolier style, but you can just attach your own straps to the D-rings. And actually, Kesha has a beautiful Pont Neuf here, which I'll put a picture of here. And lastly is the Alma PM. Now this is a beautiful, elegant bag. It does come with a, its own crossbody strap. And as you history buffs know, Louis Vuitton made the Alma originally for Coco Chanel. And this style is still going strong today. Okay, so next up are the tote bags. So we have the Neverfull, which is going for $2,710 in the MM size, and also the On The Go, which is going for $3,500 in the GM size. I'm just gonna lump these two together because they're both tote bags. Now let's look at some vintage alternatives. So starting with the duplex tote bag. So this is a gorgeous, very understated tote bag. As you can see, it's got more of a square shape to it. Now this one doesn't have a secure closure, so it is open on the top, so you have to be weary about that. But it is a gorgeous, sleek and slimline tote bag. So next is the Lusac bag. Now this one has been popular as well. The Lusac bag has a shape like an ulma, but with long shoulder straps. And this one is secured with a top zip. So this one is really great for a professional woman and even safe and secure enough to use on public transport. And now there's also the Saint Jacques. Now this one is for the non-typical girl, the girl who likes to stand out. As you can see, it has a very trapezoidal shape, very different. It does come in different sizes and the strap length does differ with the different sizes you can buy as well. But this one is definitely for the girl who likes to stand out. 
Okay, so next up is the Pochette Felici. So this is going for 1,620 in the cognac color, and it's a crossbody bag, and you get these little inserts as well. So it's kind of like a walk, kind of like a crossbody bag. Now, crossbody bags are my favorite category, so I have lots of alternatives to show you here. So the first bags I'm going to show you are grouped all together because they're very similar. So it's the Monceau, the Concorde, and also the Cellier Dragon Clutch. Now I don't have that one, but I do have a similar one called the Pochette Curad. So this will just be in place of the Cellier Dragon Clutch for the meantime. Now these all have that same s lock, so that's why I kind of grouped them all together. Now these are great crossbody bags. Now I don't have it in the Kenyan Fawn color or Capango Gold, but you can see I do love these enough that I have them in all different colors. Now the Monceau is the only one that actually is a crossbody bag in its original state. The Concorde, you do have to add your own crossbody strap, but it does have a handheld strap. And the Cellier, or the pochette curad, which has nearly the same construction, is just a clutch. Now these, you can either do what I did, and you can punch holes into the back there so you can add D-rings, so that you can add your own crossbody strap. Or if you don't want to do that, what you can do is either loop a strap around. So you can loop a strap around, so you can just attach the strap to itself. and just loop it underneath. That's not very secure doing it that way. But if you have the bag closed, it's okay. Or alternatively, you can make it a little bit more secure. By attaching both ends to this D-ring here. It's not totally secure that way, but it is a little bit more better than just simply looping it underneath. Now the next alternative is my vintage pochette accessoire old model. So you can see here the Kenyan Fawn is a beautiful colour and it makes for a great crossbody bag too. So if you're after like a really small bag, then this would be a great alternative. Whereas the Monceau and alike are more better alternatives if you wanted a bigger crossbody bag. So the next two bags I'm going to group together because they're very similar as well. So that's my Sack Friedland, which I have in the Kenyan Fawn, and also the very similar Pochette Arch. Now both of these are great alternatives. The Pochette Arch is more closer to the Pochette Felici because that's one big compartment. Whereas the Kenyan, whereas the Sack Friedland has multiple compartments and they both have a turn lock closure. Again, the next two bags are very similar, so I'm grouping them again. And that's the Pochette Homme and also the Enghein bag. Now the Pochette Homme is the clutch version or, or a cosmetic pouch version. And this you can either wear as a clutch or as a cross body bag by using this bag organizer with D-rings. Whereas the Enghein is already a proper crossbody bag by nature, and that's a two compartment bag with an outer pocket as well. So if you're after a bag where you don't have to do anything to it, the Enghein would be a better alternative. So next up, we have the Montaigne clutch. Now, as I just said, it is a clutch. I did hack this by punching holes and adding D-rings to the back. That way I can add a top handle and also a shoulder strap. But again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just loop the chain underneath the flap like how I showed you with the other bags. Next up is the St. Cloud bag. Now I currently own this bag in Monogram, but this bag is gorgeous in the Epi as well. This one is a really great crossbody bag, super easy to use. It's got adjustable straps. It's done by a snap closure. It has an inside zippered compartment, one main compartment and also a back pocket because I know there's lots of back pocket lovers out there. And the last alternative is what I call the Tilset Pochette bag. I'm not sure if that's the actual name. Now there's the bigger Tilset bag and this smaller pouch Tilset bag. And it's this smaller pouch Tilset bag that I'm talking about. So this one is a gorgeous, elegant crossbody bag. It's done up by a turn lock closure and has just a single simple compartment. 
And lucky last, the alternative to the Cognac Zippy wallet is the Vintage Epi Zippy wallet. So there you go, guys. These are my top alternatives to the Louis Vuitton Cognac collection. And this is what I believe to be the original Louis Vuitton Cognac color. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.